Hi everybody, welcome back to the Pixar Cars Thomas and Friends fan channel. Today, we're going to be making the Yellow Bird Angry Bird. We've already made the Green Piggy and the Red Bird. And we're going to start the yellow one shortly. But today we're joined by four of our Sesame Street characters. They're going to watch what we do. And I'm going to show you my new Play-Doh wall. We have lots of Play-Doh to make many, many, many different characters. And we're going to start off with a big pile of yellow to make the Angry Bird Yellow Bird. Alright, let's get started and get a big ball of yellow. We're not going to make it the exact same size as this big yellow bird. We're going to use whatever's in these three containers and get just as close as we can. So there, now that's a nice size yellow ball of Play-Doh. Now let's look closely at the shape of the yellow bird's head. It's shaped almost like a triangle. So we're going to form this ball with two pointed sides almost like a triangle and then we'll see how that looks. Well that's pretty close to the shape there. Now let's get some white and put it under his beak. There's a big piece of white there. We'll try that next. Where's our white play-doh? There it is, right over there. Let's get that out and set it up. There we moved our pieces out of the way and put a white ball here. Now I'm going to roll that flat with one of my rollers. Okay, that's a nice piece there. Now I'm going to cut it similar shape as that with a piece of plastic. I've seen somebody do this once before and it cuts pretty good. I'm going to try and get it the same shape as that and put it on the base of our Play-Doh. Okay, that came pretty good. Now we'll get some orange and make it a beak. Now where's my orange Play-Doh? There it is, right behind Green Piggy. Let's get a piece of that out and form it into a nice big beak. First I'll have to notch out right here where his beak goes in, see? I'll notch that out with my cutter. There, now I can wedge the beak in. First we'll start with a nice big piece of orange and we'll shape it to a point, like a beak. And there's his beak there. Now I'm going to make a small little cut mark on the front to make it look like the mouth. There, now let's install that beak, see how it works. There, now let's work on his big white eyes. We'll put a black ring on first then the white and then black dots in the middle. We'll do his eyebrows last. Okay, we need some white and of course we need some black too. I used the Play-Doh roller to make the black really flat and I'm going to cut it two circles using the end of the Play-Doh roller. I'm going to shape them into ovals to fit on our Play-Doh yellow bird. Okay, now we can add the white overlays and then more small black dots. I'm using the same roller to cut the white ones out. See how that looks. Okay, there's the white. Now we need the little black specks on the side of his beak to give him his real eyes. Now what I use for that is an old pen. Cut two small little circles like that and now I'll put them on the white. That looks really good. Now the part that makes the angry bird look angry is his eyebrows. So we have some brown play-doh. We're gonna roll it out and cut it into little strips. There's my nice size ball of brown play-doh. Now I can roll that out flat. Now I can cut that with my piece of plastic into two rectangular strips. Now I can put one over each eye. Well, there, I got the eyebrows on. Now it's hard to make them look angry. Um, I think I made the eyes too thick and I can't get the eyebrows on perfectly. All he looks now is kind of mildly upset. It doesn't look very angry. But the last thing I do is put the feathers on top of his head. Now I took a piece of black Play-Doh, cut it, and shaped it like a, like a feather it's right here. I'm going to install that on top of them. And there you have it. My yellow Angry Bird complete made out of Play-Doh. Let's put them side by side and compare. Uh, it looks pretty good. You get the gist. The beak is right. The eyes are right. The eyebrows are a little off. And everything else looks good. So let's get a nice group shot of four Angry Birds. And there you have it. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you liked that video. Please share it and watch more of our videos. Thanks very much. Have a great day.